Let me show you about the setup process for this Thunder Aurora 8. Spoiler alert, it's pretty easy. So the first thing that we're gonna do is actually hook up this exhaust tube to the back of the laser, but you do wanna make sure that you have a hose clamp on your exhaust tube before you slide it on here. Just kinda slide it up around the little uh, piece that is on the laser itself. Once you kinda get it in place there, all you have to do is tighten that hose clamp down with a flat-headed screwdriver, which was not included. Now you wanna make sure that you pay attention to the direction of this fan whenever you're hooking this hose up. So grab the hose, it comes out of the back of the laser now, and stick it to the appropriate side of the fan. Just make sure that you do have another hose clamp over the end of the hose before you start sticking this on there. And you just do it pretty much the same way that you did on the back of the laser. Just kind of work it on there the best that you can. Sometimes you have to kind of fiddle around with it a little bit uh, before you can get it on there, but just slide it up around there and then slide your hose clamp up to the top of it and then we just tighten it down just like we did on the laser. This part is all pretty simple, really nothing to it. Then just take the other hose, do the same thing. Uh, by now you should be getting the hang of it. All you have to do is slide the hose clamp up over the end of it, slide it up there and tighten it up and you're good to go. Now we do want to plug the fan into the back of the laser. You'll see the spot for it and then grab your little bag with all of your accessories and you want to find the power cable to the laser. So we dig the power cable out here and you'll see that this plugs into the back of the laser. It just sticks in, you twist it, and it snaps in place, kind of locks in. Plug this up to a regular 110 outlet and that's it. Now that we have this pretty much set up to this point, we have the exhaust fan installed and ready. We have the power cable connected. Let me show you how you power this on. There is a power switch here on the side of it. Flip that switch and you will hear a fan start. It's not the exhaust fan, it's just the system fan itself. And now there is a lens uh, cap that is on this lens. Be careful not to touch the actual lens, but pull the lens cap off there. So that's the protective cap. Now, there you'll notice the emergency stop button on the front of it. It is pressed in right now. Go ahead and pull it out. Whenever you pull it out, there is a red dot, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but there is a red dot laser that is showing up now. Now there's another switch over here on this side. When you power that on, the light comes on on this. So yeah, that's pretty much it as far as setting up the machine itself. You can see when you close the door with that light on, you can still see inside there. You'll notice that the green light is on at the top of it. That just means it's ready to go. Whenever we actually start a job, that should turn red. The next thing that we're gonna do is actually connect this to our computer. It does come with a USB cable here that is included in your little goodie bag that you can plug into the USB port that is here on the side of it. It's labeled PC, and then you connect straight to your computer. So we're actually using Lightburn. We already have Lightburn installed on this computer. I just need to connect the actual laser uh, because this device list is empty right now, no laser there. So we're gonna go ahead and plug it up. Now that we have it plugged up, I'm just gonna click find my laser and it's going to scan for lasers. It does show on here where it did find the Galvo laser here, this fiber laser, but it also tells me that I do not have the Galvo license key. So I will have to upgrade my license for that. All right. Now that we have upgraded our license, we are just going to go through this whole setup process here again as far as scanning for devices. Now it has found it and it's ready for us to add the device. At this step, you do have to import an easy CAD file. You can get that file actually off of the Thunder uh, flash drive that came with your machine. I've already copied it to my computer, so I should be able to find it here. So I have this already saved here off of the uh, flash drive. It's under Easy CAD 2. And then we want to scroll down here. We want to find the folder that says plug. And here is a mark CFG7. That is the file that we need for this till it open. It does give me a little warning here that it was unable to find a correction file. Um, it looks like it has all the other information in here. So yeah, I'm just going to tell it to uh, next and see what happens. 
and we're going to give this a name. And we're just naming it Thunder Aurora 8. And we want to tell it to finish. And tell it OK. So now it says that this laser is ready and it's ready to go. So we're in Lightburn and we just use the text tool to type out this word text. And now we're going to go over here and tell it to frame. Now in the framing option here, there's some different things that you can do. We're going to move this to contour. It kind of shows each letter the best. Now let's look over here on the laser bed itself. So as you can see now, it is actually framing it. So you could place your object right where you needed it to, showing you exactly where the word test is going to be. And that is pretty much it for the setup process. As you can see, it was pretty easy to get this thing up and going here and connected to Lightburn. So now we just have to learn some of these settings. So stay tuned for our actual first engraving. That way we can see how it works and then see how we progress and figure out these settings because that is gonna be a whole new learning process for us. Since this is our first fiber machine, you'll get to come along on this process with us. I do wanna say thanks to Thunder for sending this. That way we could learn how to use it and I could share what I learned with you. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And until next time, God bless.